amongst God's people. Yes. Yes. God has truly been good to us. Yes. Yes. So he's been better to us yes. than we have been to ourselves. Yes. Yes. Just to look out and see the goodness of God and what God has already yes. done, yes. Uh, I get a hallelujah shout on the inside. Amen. Amen. I know he's brought us a mighty, mighty long way. We ought to be forever grateful mm -hmm. for all that God has done. Yes. I thank Brother Davis and Brother Rito uh, for those great lessons. Amen. I feel like just offering the invitation Amen. to sit down because uh, they definitely have already shared with you the gospel of Jesus Christ. But since I've been, my assignment is to preach the word. Amen. Amen. Preach it in season, out of season, mm -hmm. through review. But all long suffering. But there's going to be a time when folks are not going to hear this. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Right. Sure. Team to just preach the gospel of Christ. Yeah. Uh, it's a blessing to look out and see those from the yeah. first big church there in Wabasika. Uh, I thank God for that. They yeah. truly know how to, to treat a preacher and yeah. a preacher's wife. And, yeah. Amen. Uh, just uh, very appreciative for them being here. Yeah. Always good to have uh, Sister Miller, my wife, with me. Amen. Amen. Hey, she's been with you all weekend. We come yesterday, uh, did the eulogy for my nephew down in Mariana. And I tell you, sometimes you don't know how things gonna go, but you just trust God. No, you don't. truly uh, make a way. Let me get into this lesson because I understand you, you've had your dad well, and I know what happened when food mixed with the chemistry of sleep. <laughs> and it don't work. That's good. Thank Brother Rochelle. The elders here, we thank you for the opportunity to say a few words. And uh, I don't think you ought to do a rocket, Jamie. I think I will be able to get out of your way in due time. <laughs> Working on the theme that, that was assigned uh, this week, and uh, we'll deal with more of that on Monday and Tuesday. I want to look at something uh, quickly in the book of Genesis. Uh, Genesis chapter 18. It's good to see uh, all the preachers that are here. God bless you. Uh, ask you also to send prayers out for Brother Johnson, Brother Roy Johnson. Uh, he lost a nephew a couple of days ago, and uh, we're just praying for he and his family as well. Amen. Amen. I want to look at something here in Genesis chapter 18. And beginning at verses number 11, the Bible says, Now Abraham and Sarah were, were old and well stricken in age, and it ceased to be with Sarah after the matter of woman. Therefore Sarah laughed within herself, saying, After I waxed old shall I have pleasure. My Lord being old also. And the Lord said unto Abraham, Wherefore did Sarah laugh, saying, Shall I of a surety bear a child which I am old? And then in verse number 14, Is there anything too hard for the Lord? And at that time, the appointment, I will return unto thee according to the time of life. Uh -huh. And Sarah shall have a son. Mm -hmm. When you look at Genesis in here in the Old Testament, I want to just give a quick outlook, and I'm going to take you where I want you to see, and I'm going to take a seat. Mm -hmm. The first five books of the Old Testament are known as the Book of Law. Mm -hmm. It is also known as the books that Moses wrote, uh, these first five books, uh, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, uh, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Mm -hmm. uh, these first five books of the Bible constitute uh, many things, but most important, they're the breakdown of what we know today. Mm -hmm. Genesis is also called the book of what? Beginnings. Mm -hmm. Here you're going to see uh, the universe. Mm -hmm. You're going to see man and woman. Mm -hmm. You're going to see sin and death. Yeah. You're going to see promise and redemption. Mm -hmm. You're going to see origin and sacrifice. You're going to even see civilization. 
So these five books of the Bible, you're going to see some things that are very, very important. Mm -hmm. And which is, which is also, I call it the gateway to where we need to be. So my question to you today, is there anything too hard for the Lord? You remember the great patriarch, Abraham? The firstborn of the three sons of Terah? Abraham, Layla, and Haran? You remember him? You remember he was uh, considered as the father of many nations. Right. You remember he was also called friend of God. Right. When you read Abraham's story, it's not just another story. It is a story of a man's life that is full of faithfulness uh -huh. towards God. Yes. And we need more men with that type of Abraham faith. Yes, we need men today that will move at the command of God. Yes. We need men that if God said do it, you just get up and do it. Amen. We need men that if God said make a way, that he's going to make a way out of no way. Don't worry about the way is. You just need to believe that God will make a way out of no way. Yes. We need good men. We need men, better men, men that have good faith. Do you know we have these kind of men? We have better communities. Mm -hmm. We have better cities. Yes. We have a better America. Mm -hmm. We will even have a better world. So we need to just look at a second. I'm not going to keep it long, but in Genesis chapter 11, you're going to see some compassion. In Genesis chapter 12, you're going to see total trust in God. In Genesis chapter 13, you're going to see God, you're going to see him being a peacemaker. In Genesis chapter 14, you're going to see him being a brave warrior. In Genesis chapter 15, you're going to see him but believe in God's promises. In Genesis chapter 17, you're going to see some name changes, and name changes mean something. Yes, In Genesis chapter 18, you're going to see some generosity. The Lord appeared unto Abraham in the plains of Mary while he was sitting at the door of the tent. He saw three men standing there, and I won't get to where I need you to see, but I need you to understand that there's nothing too hard for the Lord. Yes, the Lord sir. can still make a way out of no way. Yes. And God said it's going to happen. You best better believe it's going if he said it's going to rain on a Sunday day, set the tub out because it's going to rain. Yes, I need you to understand that there's nothing too hard for the Lord. Yes, Some things look like they're biologically look like they're impossible. Complicated, but God can make a way. Scientifically, don't look like it can happen. Technically, it don't seem like it should come together. Mathematically, it don't seem like it's going to work out. But there's anything too hard for the Lord. If the Lord said you're going to have a son, you best better believe whatever God said, it will happen. Amen. God renewed his covenant. What Abraham? Abraham fell on his face and laughed. And said, and a child to be born to him that is a hundred years old. And Sarah that is many years old. Oh, I need you to understand. God can do what he want to do. When God get ready. When God said, I can do what I want to do. But I plan on doing it. You just better believe it's going to happen. God still make a way out of no way. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? Oh, is there anything too hard for the Lord? We need to be a reminder. We need a reminder today. He can, he can make many languages in the world. He can take a, he can take a, a, a burning bush and not even consume it. He can take a rod and turn from it into a serpent. He can divide the Red Sea. He can send quail from manna from heaven. He can bring water from a rock. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? He can divide the Jordan River. He can crumble the city wall. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? He can take a man from heaven on a chariot of fire. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? He can take three Hebrew boys in a fiery furnace and he can put the fire. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? He can stop the mouth of the lion. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? And I look at your life, and I look at your life, and I look at your life, and your life, and your life. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? When you were down and out, who picked you up? Yes. When it looked like you wasn't going to make it, who, who made a way out of nowhere? When the world said no and God says yes, don't you know that God still can make a way out of nowhere? Amen. Amen. I come to let you know today there's nothing too hard for the Lord. He's still able to do whatever he wants to do. Yes. Mark chapter 9 and verse 23. If you can believe, all things are possible to him that believe. 
Mark chapter 10 and verse number 27. For with God, all things are possible. Is there anything stays too hard for the Lord? Mark chapter 11 and verse number 24. What things will you desire when you pray? Believe Amen. that you received him. Amen. And you shall have him. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? I need you to see James chapter 5 and verse number 16. The Bible said it like this. The affection and fervent prayer of a righteous man of good. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? David said it like this here in Psalm 121. I will look up my eye to the hill for we come my help. Is there anything, sir? Is there anything too hard for the Lord? Amen. Philippians, I ain't done. I want you to see this here. <laughs> Philippians chapter 4. Philippians chapter 4 and verse number 19. The Bible said it like this here. But my God, David, my God, my God shall supply all my need. All my need according to his riches and glory. Is there anything turned too hard for the Lord? Mm -hmm. I like this here. Mm -hmm. And I'm almost done. Philippians chapter 4. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? Mm -hmm. Do you remember when, 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 when folks went when, when treating you right? But didn't God make a way? Yeah. Won't he take your enemies and, and make them right at your footstool? Yeah. Won't God make a way out of no way? Yeah. Philippians chapter 4, and watch this here, the Bible says, and I love this here, the Bible says this verse number 13, I can do. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, no. <laughs> There's nothing too hard for the Lord. Amen. The Bible says, I can do it, all things yeah. in Christ. With strength is what me. And that's the key, folks. Yeah. With God, yeah. all things are possible. Yeah. With God, all things are what possible. Yeah. Oh, let me tell you who he is. He's a bright and morning star. Yeah. Revelation 22 and verse number 16. He's the prince of peace. Isaiah 9 and verse number 6. He's the king of kings. First Timothy 6 and verse number 15. He is still the Messiah. Daniel chapter 9 and verse 25. Somebody said he's the Alpha and Omega. Revelation 22 and verse number 13. Somebody said he's the Rose of Sharon. Psalm, Psalm the Psalm in verse 2, chapter and verse number 1. Somebody said he's still the door. John chapter 10 and verse number 9. Somebody said he's the high priest. Hebrews chapter 6 and verse number 20. Somebody said he's the rock. Oh yeah, first directed in chapter 10 and verse number 4. Somebody said he's the head of the church. And then in chapter 5 and verse number 20. 20. Somebody said he's the Lord of Lords. First Timothy chapter 6 and verse number 15. Somebody said he's the shepherd of the bishop. First Peter chapter 2 and verse number 25. Somebody said he's the Lamb of God. John chapter 1 and verse number 29. Somebody said he's the king of kings. Somebody said he's my will in the middle of the wind. Somebody said I have to wrestle with him all night long. I ain't gonna turn him loose until he bless him. Is there anything? Is there anything too hard for the Lord? Somebody said he's a resurrection. John chapter 11 and verse number 25. Is there anything in church? Is there anything? You said you're going through? Talk to the man. Amen. You say you got trouble on every side? Amen. Talk to the man. Amen. You say you say you don't know how you're gonna make it? Oh. You better talk to the Lord. Amen. Somebody had a soul and said, I never would have made it. Yeah. I never would have made it. Yeah. Had it not been for the Lord. Yes, is there anything, is there anything too hard for the Lord? Yeah. Where well, is there anything? Yeah. Is there anything? Oh, yeah, I, I feel like preaching now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> see, I want, I want you to see this. Many of us, we, 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 we give up and we quit. We want to just say, I ain't going to make it. But let me let, let me let me let you know that there is a God that still sits high and looks low. I'm talking about he's on the left as well as my right. When trouble's on my left, and I got trouble on my right. I don't have to worry because I still got Jesus, my friend. I've got somebody that loves me in spite of me. His name is Jesus. And since I got Jesus, that's all I need. Trouble won't last all the way. As long as I got King Jesus, it's going to be what? It's going to be all right. 
Is there anything, sister? Is there anything? Can you think of anything? Somebody mistreated you, don't worry about that. Give it to God. Somebody stole from you, don't worry about that. Give it to God. Somebody talked about you, don't worry about it. Give it to God. There's nothing too hard for the Lord. You walking around here with your head hung down, can't speak to nobody, because somebody that's speaking to you, keep your head up. It's I said to God. That's that thing that belongs to me. I will be paid. Yeah. 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 Is there anything too hard for the law? Yeah. We, we, some of us don't even want to. Let, I don't know how much time I got. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me just tell you this. Some of us will fall out of church. Uh-huh. Stop going to worship. Yeah. Come on, somebody say it. Come on, now. Amen. You allowing somebody to control you. Come on, Amen. Amen. You better get your praise on. Yeah. I ain't gonna want to change too many hypocrites. Well, you were there last week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of problems in, in, in the same place you're talking about. You the problem. <laughs> a lot of church ain't going because you don't know how to stay in the church. Yes, when problems come, stay in the church. Amen. You don't run when problems come. Come on, Bill. Amen. You stay with the Lord. Yes, sir. Don't tell me where I don't care where you go. I'm going to Jeremy, it ain't where I'm right. You can go down over the other to the Church of Christ on the hill and they cut up over there. You might just stick right here and just pray about it, work with that brother and that sister, and it's going to be all right. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? Some of you that just like the road runner. Beep, beep, that one. <laughs> Be still and see the salvation of God. God can fix anything you're going through. Yes, sir. I just, I just, I get tired of church folks acting like the world. Amen. Well, I can't stand it. What, what are you saying? How are you telling me you can't stand your brother and sister in Christ? You can't stand it. How much you say you love a God that you don't see? You got, you got a brother that's right here that you that you hate. Is there anything too hard? If the Lord can look into the line of Sarah and Abraham and tell him what he going to do, you better trust him. Yes, he can take your little problem, yeah. your little problem, mm-hmm. and make a way out of no way. Amen. Amen. I'm almost done. This is my last point. <laughs> this, this, I promise you. Go ahead, bro. This is my last point. This, you know, preacher got to give you about three, four clothes before he close. <laughs> I'm, on number, I'm on number four. <laughs> you know, clue. The church is blood bought. It's solid as a rock. The word of God won't change. Y'all hear me? It ain't going to change. God is a God that don't lie. He's the same God yesterday. Do you understand? Today and forevermore, he's a God that does not lie. But it's us. Mm. It's us. It's us. It is. It's us. We misuse each other. Yes. We talk about one another. We envy each other. We jealous of one another. Yes, sir. That don't make good sense to me. Amen. And we wonder why. We wonder why the church ain't growing. Amen. It's us. Yeah, yeah. Some of you gonna talk about you gonna talk about me when I leave. That dude, he, just, he, just preach, he just preached too long. <laughs> but if he was at the baseball game, <laughs> at the basketball game, <laughs> if they going to overtime, you ain't gonna say a word. Amen. But the preacher preached too long. Yes. <laughs> it's us. Yeah, we Are you here today? I'm done. <laughs> Is there anything too hard for the Lord? Are you here today? You're not a member of the Lord's church. I beseech you to make up your mind. 
Yesterday I went buried my 33 year old nephew. Mm. 33 years old. You don't never know, church, no, when your last day is going to be. No, you don't. Some of us think we're going we gonna to make it and live to be old lady, old man. Mm. You don't know. Life. But I beseech you right now to make up your mind. Yes, sir. Man. You need to believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Mm -hmm. You need to believe that he lived, he died, and that yet that he rose again with all power in his hand. Yes, you need to believe that. Yeah. Pin of your sins. Make a noble change in your life. The water showed up ready. Yes, Amen. Don't let Jeff Miller add you to the water. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Jeff Miller may mess up. Amen. Don't let Jamie add you to the water. Mm -hmm. Jamie might be working overtime. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't let Justin add you to the water. <clears throat> Justin could be on the highway. So do, do you hear me? Mm -hmm. But allow the Lord. Yes. The Bible says Acts chapter 2, and the Lord added to the church. Yes. Yes. The Lord does it. Yes. So that when the Lord does it, mm -hmm. it all adds up well. Amen. So, Amen. If you're here, and you're a member of the Lord's church, you know your life is not in order, you have an opportunity to get your life right. This may be the last day. Amen. If you're here, come now and stand and sing a song. Will you come? Stand up, stand up.